news. This is a breaking news alert. And we do have breaking news and reports of several people shot in downtown Gresham. Good evening. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. We do have reporters Megan Coxstein and Bob High on the scene. Let's begin with Megan tonight. Megan? Well, right now, police aren't telling us very much information, but look at this scene right here. Very heavy, active police scene here in downtown Gresham. They are right now interviewing witnesses about this shooting. We're looking at the corner of 2nd and Main. Where we are told the shooting happened is right across the street there. That is called the M&M Tavern Restaurant and Lounge. We're told it is a long-term establishment here in downtown Gresham. Now, again, police are still on scene. What we know so far, details very limited at this point. We know it happened just before 10 o'clock. We are told that there are multiple victims with gunshot wounds. Now, what witnesses are telling us out here on the scene is that there was some sort of apparent domestic dispute inside of the Eminem Tavern. We're very unclear at this point as to what may have gone wrong, what may have happened, but we do know there are multiple people injured with gunshot wounds. Now, on the scene here, I did talk to Mayor Shane Bemis. As you might remember, there was another shooting just around the corner just about a month ago here in this very same area. I asked the mayor, how can he tell residents, how can he ensure that they'll feel safe here in Gresham tonight? Here's what he had to say. Well, they have the right to say what is going on. The mayor is saying what is going on. I mean, I think the entire um, community is a bit shaken. This is, you know, this is not typical of our city. It's not typical of this community, and it's, um, it's a tough night, and we need to step back and take a look at what's going on. Obviously, still a lot of unanswered questions here in downtown Gresham. Again, what we do know is there has been an apparent uh, shooting in the Eminem Tavern. We know there are multiple victims at this point. We do not know where the shooter may be at this point, as police are not telling us very much information. But there are a lot of people here out on the scene with a lot of questions. And K2's Bob High is also out here on the scene with more information from uh, witnesses out here. Bob? Megan, certainly the uh, second shooting in this area in just a matter of weeks certainly has people shaken. We talked to Tony Hadid, who was nearby, and he heard the gunshots. Here's what he had to say. Um, talked to some witnesses that were there, and they said that uh, there was some type of fight in the bar. Somebody got a beer thrown in their face, um, something like that, and then somebody pulled out a gun and shot two victims inside the M&M, and then two people chased them out the back, and the shooter turned around and shot them both. Um, which I believe are the victims I saw behind. On the way out to this uh, shooting scene, we uh, saw a number of uh, police cars uh, with lights on and running at high speed up and down I-84 and on side streets here in Gresham. Uh, we understand they may be looking for a suspect in this case. Tony tells us that he saw at least two people on the ground, two bodies apparently, in the area. But again, shaken by all this, uh, the second shooting in a number of weeks in this part of Gresham. Live in Gresham, Bob High, K2 News. All right, Bob, of course, you hear anything else, uh, Bob, in the next half hour or so while we're still on the air, you let us know and we'll go back on with it.